to meet you here. Thank you for coming to Berlin. Can you tell about how the specific works were chosen for the books? Well, you see, the, the works were chosen, first of all, for Houston, the Fine Arts Museum in Texas, so that it's being transplanted from Houston to here. But every time you have a different space, it's a new exhibition. And usually, it transplants and it looks like another, an exhibition from somewhere else. And as I said, this is the first time I've seen an exhibition of helmets that looks as if it's the first time on the walls. It took me a long time to choose the pictures. And I have a great assistant in Angelo Marino. Where are you, Angelo? Here he is, who helps tremendously. Uh, it took ages to choose the pictures because the man was so prolific that there were thousands. There's literally thousands of photographs of me. Yours have the camera in his hand. Um, so it's very hard for me to say, but there's a lot of sex in it, you can see that. <laughs> I guess that's what they come for. I also want to thank you all for being so loyal. Coming all these years as you have. Oh. All these years as you have. And to just sit there and listen. And today we're going to have coffee downstairs in the cafeteria. Have a coffee after. Okay? Right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so we'll make it short. <laughs> Okay, did I answer your question? Yes, okay. Um, uh, more specifically, yes. um, was there any difference about big news? Every book, every book, these are three books. White Women, Sleepless Nights, In Succession, and Big News. Um, each book had its own look and its own reason. As you went through life, the pictures became more, and he uh, evolved. The sex came very late in his life. The, 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 the nudes and the taking off of the dressed and undressed, that sort of thing. He was a fashion photographer, known as a fashion photographer. Said he would always be a fashion photographer and nothing else interested him when he was taking fashion. But then he started, they started to take it off for him and <laughs> ended up like this. Um, so it depended on the books, the look of the book that I did for him, um, what went in, and the title was important. Am I getting near answering? Yes. Okay. It is. That's a big new one, see? White women sleep the sights on the big news. <coughs> okay. Come on, because we've got to go down for coffee. <laughs> Come on, yeah. 
I remember one lovely story that I have to tell you. He was photographing a, 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 a collector of Nazi memorabilia in Germany somewhere. And this man was fascinating. He had a girlfriend, a very tall, blonde lady. And Hubbard was photographing him. And he said, the girl was standing at the end of the table, just standing there. And he said, everything's going fine, except, Mademoiselle, you would look much better with your clothes off. And I couldn't believe it. She just started drawing her <laughs> And of course, you know, nobody looked at the guy anymore. Does <laughs> that answer the question? No. Um, and then he went, you know, you take, you know, I started doing portraits, and it, where's Jose? Is Jose here anywhere? No. But Jose Alvarez, at least yonder regard. And he said, you know, Judy, I can do, I can do a book. You can do a book. And I said, I can probably enough for a book. And he said, yeah. I said, that's a good idea because Helmut was never going to do portraits, so I can do, go that way. And then the book came out, and Helmut looked at the book and said, he was on the phone immediately to Vanity Fair, to Leo Lerman, who was the art director in those days, saying, Leo, can you get me anybody to photograph? I don't want any bimbos from Hollywood. I want politicians, murderers. Oh. <laughs> 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 